Orang Guru is absolutely fantastic in terror raid battles and we're gonna go into why that is today but before we do don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's get on with it so the real question becomes why use oranguru instead of other pokemon in terror raid battles and that's because oranguru can be put into any position of a strategy so for example in the case of what we have here we have the umbreon using screech and the iron hands using belly drum now, I can use Instruct on that little Umbreon, and it'll cause him to use Screech again, which gives two times the buff, uh, well, debuff rather in this case, in the same turn, which means it can then use two Screeches, and now it's used Helping Hand to one-shot Blissey. This is the freaking most amazing thing about Oranguru, is that it can literally help out in any strategy it can cause attackers to attack twice it can cause things to buff themselves twice any strategy that currently exists can be used with oranguru and this just makes them incredibly useful if you bring them along because it just brings a huge amount of utility to different strategies and it also means that you don't need to bother changing pokemon too often so we're going to talk about Oranguru and the strategy in general. So this Oranguru has max HP and max defense. We're holding the likely item. And you can see that we are also an impish nature. Now, I've put 252 EVs into HP, 252 EVs into defense. You can change that around a little bit. You could do it so that you basically get the special defense and the defense probably at the same level. It's really up to you how you want to go about that. Now, in terms of the ability, I would actually recommend Inner Focus. We are currently using Telepathy, but that's because I just can't be bothered changing it. Inner Focus is better because it stops you from being flinched, and that is more relevant in raid battles, but at the same time, I don't get flinched very often, so I, I didn't bother changing it because, again, I don't get flinched very often. Now, for the moveset, I'm going to briefly explain why i've got them on there i think light screen and reflect are pretty self-explanatory they are going to stop your team from getting killed very quickly which benefits everyone but the way i tend to use them is if the opposing pokemon uses sleep moves or buffs then i will typically use taunt instead of reflect or light screen if the pokemon doesn't use buffs or like sleep moves i will use either light screen or reflect depending on what the opposing pokemon uses typically if it's a physical attacker use reflect if it's a, if it's a special attacker i'll use light screen it really just depends this also gives me a turn to plan what i want to use instruct on essentially so if i see someone on my side of the field use screech in their first turn my initial reaction is to instruct them so that they will use screech again if i see someone using sword stance the same thing goes this also gives Pokemon that use Belly Drum a turn to essentially use their Belly Drum, then to go into attack mode, where I can then instruct them, because I don't want to instruct them when they're using Belly Drum. This is the key kind of thing about this, this build, is you want to see what your teammates are using before you act. And these other moves give you that ability to do that. And you can also use your cheers while you're waiting to see what your, your teammates are doing. This is why this works with any strategy. It allows you to double the efforts of your teammates in a short amount of time. One of the best ways to use it um, is if someone's using the slow bro strategy. Because what you can do is you can double the speed in which they buff up. It just makes it very, very viable. And I'm surprised I've not seen it in battles yet. So that's the video and the strategy. Now, I got a little bit of help with this. Uh, it was actually discovered by accident when Bubba decided to bring Oranguru to a battle. So big thanks to Bubba for basically the inspiration for this video. And yeah, I, I'm just surprised I've not seen videos about Oranguru. I feel that it's a very viable Pokemon in Terror Raids, and it's very strange that I've not seen more of him. I think Instruct is quite a niche move. And a lot of people forget about it. And that could be a big factor here. But for Terra Raids, it's actually a perfect Pokemon to bring. And if you agree, disagree, or you think you can improve this strategy anyway, definitely leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel and helps motivate me to make more videos like this. Either way, guys, I'll catch you next time in Baldea.